Thank you for joining me today. I'm Sandra at Artie Cardair, a Stamping Up demonstrator. Today my project is this lovely gift box punch board project. I've made these little boxes as you can see. It's pretty obvious that they're for Valentine's Day. I thought I would make these boxes using the gift box punch board because I've just newly acquired it off of the Stampin' Up! catalogue and <coughs> it makes this cute little box which is no cut, no stick, so it, it's very easy to make. You can, if you wish, stick it in these corners if you, if you want whatever you're putting in to stay in without falling out, but you really don't need to because the little the little hooks that this board, this gift box punch board cuts, mean that you don't need to stick it with any glue if you don't want to. Uh, and it just clips together nice and easy like that. She says. Right, so that sticks together like that. Oh, why is it not staying? Anyway, I think you get the idea that that sticks in there like that, and then this little belly band that I've created for it also goes on there. You can see that that does clip together and you can make these boxes in all different sizes, little, small, big, whatever you wish. So let's put those to one side because we're going to get started on that. Now I have used basic black for one of my boxes so I did one in basic black and I did one in real red that's annoying me now that I can't do that up right. so I've done one in real red one in what did I say basic black and now this one I'm doing in rose red because I think it's a pretty colour and I've cut this designer series paper. This designer series paper that I'm using for my belly band today is called the Painted Blooms designer series paper. Very, very pretty colours in that. 12 sheets of 12 by 12 inch. Lovely colours. Girly colours, I would say, but I love them. I think they're pretty. That one I used, I did a little lamb bag with that recently, with a little lamb stamp. And so you've got lots of colours to choose from and you get 12 sheets. So I've cut my belly band and these are my other pieces that I need. But we'll just start off first of all by scoring our box, with our paper card with the with this gift box punch. This gift box punch tells you all your measurements. I have used the 3.25, which is three and a quarter by three and a quarter by one and three quarters. It tells you that you need to cut a sheet of card eight by eight inches or 20.3 by 20.3. So you've got centimeters and inches here. So you, you won't be stuck for whichever measurements you like to work in. So my uh, card today is 8 by 8 so it tells you that the start line is large and the diagonal line is small. So this is the start line so we put our card in at the start line which is large, punch down and we score on the vertical and then we score on the horizontal and then we score on the diagonal at S for small. Turn it round and you do exactly the same. You punch down on the large, score our diagonal, our vertical, then our horizontal and then the diagonal. And you go round all four sides. 
until you've scored all these lines. So it's nice and easy. Everything is there, self-explanatory, to help you get started. Tells you all the sizes of paper you need, so you don't need to worry about sizing it up yourself because they've done all the hard work for you. So we've now scored all four lines. I forgot to mention that if you want, if your paper is larger, then they've given you a little extender scoreboard so that you can score your longer lengths down there. But we don't need that today, so we're pushing that back in. So now what you need to do on your card is you need to flip your paper, your card over to the other side, and you need to notch out there. So you put it back in at the large mark and punch down. Again at the large mark and punch down. And you go round on all four sides until you've punched out all your notches. So you've now got two notches on each side. So now we turn the board this way. I'm turning it this way so that you can see what I'm doing. You put your, your corners into this part of the punch board and then you punch out that little notch and you go round on all four sides. And that's all finished with the board now. Just get rid of all these bits. And then you do the same as you would normally do. You just go round. I'll get my copper bone folder. I like this. And you just score all, burnish all your score lines as you would for any other box. Go round and do that. And so now that's our box made. And in order to make the corners stand up, you just do that. And then get your bone folder to just make those creases a little bit more. So this is easy to make. If you don't like, if you don't um, like scoring boxes on, on your ordinary scoreboard, this is a very, very easy way to make a box and you don't have to cut or stick it if you don't want to. So it's very quickly made and you can make it just with the one, the one gadget as it were. So these then hook into each other like that. Hopefully, I shall get this together now. There, I've done it. I don't know why I couldn't do it on the other one, but there we are. So, now we need to do our belly band, and I've got uh, this designer series paper, as I said. This is measures, I forgot to say the measurements, that measures 11 inches by three and a quarter. Anyway, all the measurements will be on my blog. I'm going to just put some score lines on that. So I'm going to bring in my stamping trimmer to just score that. Let me just find out what I've done with my book that gives me all my score lines. Sorry about that, I'm back, I'm back. So, <clears throat> my design series paper measures 11 inches by three and a quarter, which is 28 by 8.2 centimeters. All measurements will be on my blog. And we are scoring it at two inches. Scoring it at two inches, three and seven eighths inches. Seven and one eighth inches and nine inches. And 
then while we're at it, I'm just going to score my little stand, my piece for my stand. This is my little stand, and that is what I mean by my little stand that just holds this, these little hearts up. So we're going to, to, to we're going to score that. This measures five and three quarters by three quarters inches, 14.7 by 1.9. And we're going to score it at one and three quarters, three and a half, and five. I think that's right. No, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. So that's done and I'll take it away. I'll just leave that over there. And then I'll put my score, my stamp and trimmer. So now we're just going to lightly burnish these folds that we made. And you want to make sure when you wrap this round your box that you don't wrap it too tight because obviously you want to be able to get that off again. So we put our box and we wrap that round. And we want to stick some glue on here. So I've got my fast fuse today. And now we want to stick it round but we want to stick it round so that it's fairly loose so that we can slide it back off again when we need to open it. It means that you don't have to destroy the box to slide that off like that. And then we've got the gold piece that goes round the middle. And what I've done with that is I've, I've just folded that round like that. I haven't scored that because we need that to be loose round there as well before we glue that down too. So same again, fast fuse on there. Hold that down. and you just just reaffirm your creases so that it sits nicely on the box so that's that done and now we want to make up our stand what did I do with that here it is just burnish your little crease marks that you did on that And then a little bit of glue on the outside there of that little skinny end bit and then sit that into there like that and that's our little stand made. I'm just going to trim off that little bit that's straight. That's our little stand made and then that sits on here on our box like that. So now we need our sentiment and I have already prepped up and stamped out my sentiment. This sentiment comes from the celebration set which is completely free if you spend £45 on my Stamping Up website. And this is the stamp set. It's quite large. You get that large stamp that says just for you. One that says because you're so nice because you're awesome on your special day you've got these little tiny three little tiny flowers and two little leaves now i had this in the wooden set but you can have it just in the uh, plain set which you prep onto your own blocks by blocks i mean these blocks uh, you just put your stamp on there if you don't want the wooden ones but I decided I would have, as it was free, that I would have the wooden ones, but the choice is entirely up to you. But that's a fantastic stamp set and completely free if you spend £45 with stamping up. 
during their celebration celebration period which starts from the 5th of January this year through to the 31st of March. So I've stamped Because You're Awesome from that stamp set and I'm going to glue that onto there. So a bit of glue onto the middle and we're going to sit that on there. I just realised I haven't put some glue on my stand so bear with me while I just do that. So we prep that onto there like that. That's our stand made. And now I'm going to cut out some hearts using my sweetheart punch. So we need two of those hearts. And then using the little itty bitty accents punch, which is a smaller little heart, I'm just going to punch out two of these gold, gold ones. Actually, I'm also going to do one of these ones for the box as well. And then using the, the glue dots. Now, if I just bring this one back in, you'll see that I've slanted them at a different angle. I'm just going to stick on with my glue dots, the gold ones, onto my rose red ones before I put them on my stand. And I think this is a perfect little project for Valentine's Day. You could fill, fill it with chocolates or anything that you'd like to give your loved one for Valentine's would fit in this box, I'm sure. And we're going to put a little pearl on here. So I've got my basic pearls. I'm going to prep that onto there. Like that. I'm also going to put a little pearl on there, like So we're going to stick our glue dots. We want to put them at an angle, so we need to make sure that we don't put the glue where it's not needed. So with our glue dots, we're just going to position that one there. And that one here. So that's our box finished. I think you'll agree that that was a very easy box to put together. So if you're interested in receiving a catalogue, please send me an email. I would love to be your demonstrator. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click on that little arrow, down arrow, and that will show you all my blog details. So you'll be able to go over to my website. You'll be able to see all the measurements on my blog there plus many other projects too. I'd love to hear from you what you think of my projects. So until the next time, it's bye.